Hello, my friends. It's good to see you. Did you know that a little itsy bitsy caterpillar that you might see in your grass or on your driveway or somewhere else, that little itsy bitsy caterpillar becomes a beautiful flying butterfly. Do you wonder how that happens? Well, we are going to read a little bit about how it does happen. This book is called Caterpillar to Butterfly. It really is crazy to me how a little itty bitty caterpillar can become a beautiful butterfly. Butterflies are fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors. Some have bold patterns too. It's also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short lives. In fact, there are four stages in a butterfly's life. The first is egg. The second is caterpillar. The third is chrysalis. And the fourth is Butterfly. So every butterfly starts by being an egg, and then a caterpillar, and then a chrysalis, and then a butterfly. Stage one. A mother butterfly lays many eggs on a leaf or branch. Each egg is close to food. Caterpillar food, that is. On our board, I drew a picture of a leaf. with a bunch of eggs on it. Stage two, caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole in the egg. It crawls out. The caterpillar is very hungry. The caterpillar eats in its shell. Then it eats the leaf it's on. The caterpillar moves to another leaf. It eats that too. So the caterpillar bites out of its egg into nature and starts eating. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too big for its skin. It sheds its old skin like a snake. So that means it gets rid of its old skin over and over again. The new skin fits for a while, but then the caterpillar is too big for that new skin too. Caterpillars shed their skin four or five times. So caterpillars get a lot of new skin in their lives and they keep replacing it with new skin. By now, the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down. It sheds its skin 
one more time. The new layer is called a chrysalis. It is a hard shell. Inside, the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. So once our caterpillar is out in nature and it starts eating, it starts getting new skin. Then it gets rid of that new skin and gets new skin. And it does that four or five times until finally it's too tired out and it the caterpillar decides to hang upside down and when it hangs upside down it gets rid of its skin one more time and the new skin that it gets is called the chrysalis The chrysalis moves. It splits open. The butterfly wiggles out its wings and wet and crumpled. Oh, I'm sorry. Its wings are wet and crumpled. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings. They get bigger and harden. The wings dry. Now, the butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. So once the caterpillar has the new skin that is the chrysalis, eventually when it's ready, it wiggles out of the chrysalis and becomes the butterfly and is able to fly with his beautiful wings. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from fruit. A tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. All right, and that is the last page we will read. So we learned how eggs, there are a lot of eggs on a leaf. In one of those eggs, the caterpillar breaks out. And after it breaks out, it eats a lot and then gets a lot of new skin. And eventually, the caterpillar decides it's too tired and it hangs upside down in a cocoon. And then once it's ready, a butterfly comes from the cocoon and can fly with beautiful wings. And then a mother butterfly can lay more eggs onto a leaf. And so it's a whole cycle. It keeps going over and over again. Because eggs make more caterpillars, which make more cocoons, which make more butterflies, which make more eggs. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me, and I will see you soon.